Today's tutorial is about comma delimited files. Um, those are CSV files that are in a format that you can open up in Excel. That same format is what's used when you run your silver sneakers export and you upload it to the Healthways website. And I just want to discuss why some of you think that the data is incorrect inside of the CSV file. So let's go to Silver Sneakers, the Silver Sneakers, the um, check-in reports, at the, let's go to reports at the top, and then check-in reports, and then Silver Sneakers here. And I'm going to backdate this to 2018 so we get some data. And if we preview the report, it comes up fine, everything looks fine. Um, and we see the ID here, and but when we do the export, things don't seem right. So let's click on Silver Sneakers Export, and then that's going to wind up giving us this file down here, the Silver Sneakers report down here. I'm going to click Show in Folder down here, and then here we go. We have our Silver Sneakers report. So when I now it has an Excel icon on it, which means if we double click on it, it's going to immediately open in Excel. So now you immediately look at the file and you say, wow, wait a second, that's not the right insurance ID for Daryl. Something's not right. And for Daryl down here, Daryl, Napoleon Bonaparte, etc. So when you stretch out the column, all of a sudden, oh, the number comes back, okay? So it looks correct. But when you scroll down, you see, oh, well, Muhammad Ali, his number didn't fix itself. So you're thinking something is wrong with Quick Check but that is not the case. The problem is Excel doesn't know that you want this to stay in a text format. It sees it as a number, so it wants to change it to scientific notation. So, but we need to tell Excel not to do that, and Excel is always going to do that. And let me show you here. So I typed in, why does Excel change my CSV file to scientific notation? And <clears throat> 138,000 results. So there's a lot of people out there asking the same question. And here it says editing CSV file in Excel always converts number column to, and this is the um, the article here, number column to scientific notation. So down here is the correct answer. Um, this continues to occur with CSV that are open rather than pasted. The solution is to open the file in Notepad and paste into Excel or use the data import wizard. And that's what we're going to use today, just to show you what's actually in the file. So I'm going to go back to the file here and you can see Muhammad Ali, the number is still wrong. Well, let's go to the downloads folder. And what I want to do is I'm going to try and change this to a text file. And will it let us do that? It's not going to let us do that because it's open in Excel. So what we're going to do is we're going to close Excel and then we're going to rename our file and if you don't see the extension at the end you have to click organize you have to click folder and search options click view at the top and <coughs> you're going to uncheck hide extensions for known file types uncheck that and then you'll see the extension at the end of your file here um, now, if I change this to CSV, change it from CSV to TXT, it's going to say the file is going to become unstable. We're going to say yes, go ahead and change it. Now, when I double click on that file, it's going to open up in Notepad. Now, when you first go to Notepad, <coughs> the file might look like um, might look like a mess, but you want to take Word Wrap off. Actually, you probably want to put it on, I guess, to see the file in its format. But you can see all the numbers are here. Okay? All the numbers are here. And if we go down to Muhammad Ali, <coughs> his number's here too. Okay? And it's in there just fine. Okay? The problem is when we change that back to CSV, let's do it again, and we double click on it, Excel opens the file and alters that data and changes it to scientific notation. And once again, here's our file. We're going to open it, slide that open a little bit, that column, and we still have Muhammad Ali has issues on all of his records. Now, how do we fix that? <coughs> now, in your case, most of the members will be in scientific notation. So, how do we fix that and prevent that from happening? First off, you can view this file in Excel all you want, okay? 
as long as you never click File Save, you'll never run into a problem. Okay, just leave the file as is. You can browse it. When you're done, just close it out in the top right. Don't save anything, and that file will still be in the correct format so you can upload it to Silver Sneakers. But if for some reason you do want to touch the file, I would say your best bet is probably changing it to, changing it to a text file and just opening it in Notepad. And let's say you need to delete a line, you can highlight a whole line, delete it, and you can do File Save, and the, the file will stay in its correct format. Still, you can still upload it to Silver Sneakers. But if you really want to mess with it in Excel and change it to an Excel file, you're going to do this. You will rename the file to a text file, okay? Then you're going to open up Excel. Once you have Excel open, you're going to click Open Other Workbooks down at the bottom, and you're going to browse to wherever that file is. And okay, but now it's only seeing Excel files, okay, and HTML files that will allow you to open that Excel. Excel's not seeing our text file. So down here, you're going to say we want Excel to look at all the files on my computer, not just all Excel files. Change it to all files. Now, when we go up to the top. There's our Silver Sneakers report. We're going to select that file and we're going to click Open. Now comes the text import wizard that you saw mentioned in that article on the website. The solution is to open the file and use the data import wizard. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, it's really text import wizard. So we're going to say it's a delimited file. Yes not fixed with. We want delimited. Next. How is it delimited? It's comma delimited. CSV means comma separated values. So that means there's a comma in between every field. And you saw that in the text. You can see a comma and then quotes are also surrounded as the qualifier, which you can see here. The qualifier is the quotes. And that's already there. So just choose comma. And you can see, you can see the commas here in the file. When you click comma, it's Excel separates the columns, every time it sees a comma, it knows that there's another column of data to be populated. So we're going to click Next. Now here's the most important step. You don't know, you might not know if there's data, a lot of numbers in a specific column. So what I recommend you do is click on the first column, even though we know our numbers are in the second column. I want you to click the first column scroll all the way across the bottom to the end of the file to the right. Hold your shift key down on your keyboard. Click on the last column. So now we have the entire report highlighted in the wizard. And we're going to say just import all of the data as text. Okay? Forget that there's any numbers, any dates in there. Just import everything as text as it is. Click Finish and then your report comes up perfectly fine. I like to click the top left of the report, uh, the Excel file up here on the right, click Format and choose Auto Fit Column Width and then it just stretches everything out so it's readable. And now you can see Muhammad Ali's number is fine, down here his number is fine, down here his number is fine. Even though you're, you are currently looking at a text file, you can now do File Save As and let's go to our downloads folder and down here we're going to say change it to an Excel file for me. And I'm going to save this as an Excel file and now it's an Excel file. I don't know if you see the name of the file at the top there but um, right here Silver Sneakers Report Excel SX <coughs> and now you can mess with this file all you want. You can do all the changes, all the column changes and anything you want to do and then you can save it and you can still import it into the Healthways website. Anyway, that was a long lesson on comma separated files, comma delimited files, um, and text files and how to get them imported into Excel without having any headaches or altering the data. Anyway, have a great week over there. I hope you learned something and we'll see you soon.